hey babes welcome back to my channel if you are returning and if you're new hey a no makeup makeup look is for when you don't want to wear makeup like that like you don't want to wear makeup but maybe you're just tired maybe you just look like shit <laughs> maybe you just want to look more awake you know so we're not trying to look like we have makeup on but there are reasons why we have makeup on you know your reasons are up to you so we're going to start with the brows i'm just i'm not going to put any product in my brows like any color i'm just going to put in gel just to kind of i don't know give structure to my face somewhat So the next thing I'm going to do is put on my DIY primer and the reason I'm going to do this is like I said maybe you're just looking a bit dehydrated you're looking a little bit you want to look more awake more refreshed more hydrated so that's why I'm going to go in with this primer but go in with a primer that works for you so if you have oily skin and you don't want to look oily go in with a matte primer I'm just going to go in with this because I'm tired and I feel like I look dehydrated so the next thing I'm going to do is conceal my blemishes, conceal my bags, conceal any uneven skin tone. Concealing your under eye bags is really going to help you look more awake. You can use your finger or a brush to do this. And I used the LA Girl in the shade Fawn. And then just blend around the edges so that it meshes with your the rest of the area. Like, do you see the difference between this eye and this eye? This side, I look more awake. I look like I know what's going on in the world. Here, if you do nothing else and you want to do a no makeup makeup, you just want to look more awake, as I've been saying, um, more hydrated, less like you got two hours of sleep concealing your under eyes is gonna help you do that more than anything else and then again just blend around the edges okay next thing I'm gonna do is conceal my blemishes and conceal some uneven skin tone again with the same LA girl shade that I used for my under eyes and then I'm just gonna go everywhere where I want to cover up just put a little don't put a lot and then I'm gonna go in with medium beige because i feel like the fawn on my face it looks too orange but for my under eyes it's fine because my under eyes um it color cor it it's a good color corrector but for blending all over the face it's like too orange for me so i'm just gonna add some medium beige to kind of get it back to my skin tone and then i'm gonna go in with my favorite brush for this type of thing and then just start blending it out very softly you don't want to move it around too much you just want to lightly tap it into place if that makes sense like just how i'm doing here you don't want to blend it away completely because then what's the point but um yeah just kind of tap it into place Adding coverage where you feel like you need slash want it. Just stop when you're comfortable with the coverage that you have. If you're comfortable and you don't want to add more, it's fine. Just now, if you do have oily skin, you don't want to prime with like a primer that's too matte because I feel like with a no makeup makeup look, it looks the most no makeup y when your skin is the most hydrated when your skin looks the most dewy that's when it looks like you don't have any makeup on because i feel like it just looks like your skin is dewy your skin is producing its oils and doing its thing so i would not suggest that you go in with too matte of a primer the concealer will sit on it and kind of bite this you okay so now this is completely optional you don't have to do this i'm just doing it because i'm extra just putting like a dot right there because I just want to add a little more brightness to the under eye so 
So as you can see, I've put nothing on my lids because again, I feel like that'll add to the whole not wearing makeup thing. Naturally, your lids are darker. There, there is pigmentation on your lids naturally. So just leave it. I'm gonna set my face, but very, very lightly, just because I don't want anything to transfer. I don't want, um, if I sweat throughout the day and then like things are moving around, I don't want that. So I'm just gonna lightly set the face. The more dewy you look, the more no makeup makeup it looks. So just lightly. Belly. Barely put anything on your brush. Okay, see, so thus far, you can still see my skin through the concealer and that's what I want. I don't wanna look like I'm doing the most. I don't wanna look like, you know. <laughs> okay, the next thing we're gonna do is just add mascara. Just gonna open up your eyes very slightly. Again, adding to the whole, I'm awake. I slept eight hours. I do my taxes. And like, mascara is not makeup. <laughs> mascara is not makeup. Look at me going overboard. Okay, you know what, let me put this down before I decide I wanna put on some lashes. I feel like you can't even see it. Can you? And then next we're gonna go in with some lip stuff. For your lips, I would suggest going with something that is your lip color but better and the tiniest amount. You can't even see anything. <laughs> and then go in with a lip gloss because I feel like whether you're ma wearing makeup or not, a lip gloss is always a good idea. It just makes you look very youthful and refreshed. If you wanna go in and set your face, you can do that. I'm just gonna leave it like this because this is the look that I was going for. I achieved what I needed to achieve. So I'm gonna leave it at that and that is it for this look guys it's super quick i look a lot less tired than i did in the beginning of the video because i am exhausted and that is it for this no makeup makeup look if you enjoyed the video make sure to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and turn on your post notifications so you know every time i upload a new video and that is it guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in 